Forbidden Test Route. Hi, I'm Patrick Bill and welcome back to our Retro HD training series. Today, I want to take you on a journey with me on a Forbidden Test Route. There are test routes or part of the towns around Leighton Bazaar, which we shouldn't go because council doesn't want us to go. But guess what? On your test, you're going to be taken just there. So let me show you now all the tricks and turns and twists that can get you in trouble on your test. You can watch this as much as you want so you've got more control over your vehicle and you know how to deal with these difficult, difficult places on your HGV test. If you've got any problems, any trouble with passing your test, if you would like to train with us, check the description of this video and subscribe to this channel, of course, if you haven't already. Now, let me take you with me for this test route. Right, so we just turned right out of the test center and we're going for this wonderful piece of the road, uh, the test route. Uh, first part of it here, Stambridge Road, as well, complaints coming through left and right from this residence, but now let's do it. Let's take the test here. So let's teach you here. I'm gonna turn right at this roundabout, I mean turn right. This is it is turn right, but the road is actually following to the uh, straight, so you don't need to indicate on the approach. And the next roundabout, just coming off first exit, and off we go. Right, railway clock crossing, just looking left and right. It's nothing is going to fly too quick, but the race train sometimes going. And it's a lovely train, so when you see it, let me know. And again, indicating off. You can use this paved area around that roundabout. So cars parked on this road, plan so you don't block um, pedestrian crossing traffic lights or anything. And you go with the flow, basically. Coming back after the parked car, you don't need to indicate. Next mini roundabout, we're just gonna fly straight through it. Remember, do not go around the mini roundabouts in a large vehicle. Um, but don't go too fast. Because they're bumpy. And you might have something for the back. Okay, so another mini roundabout, just going straight through it, keeping an eye on this van. This one is a bit more bumpy. Right, the speed drops to 20. So check your mirrors and keep an eye on it. Now, this few bends, as you know, be very careful. We're just following the signs for town center now. It's very easy to clip the curb on them if you're not careful. So, yeah, all right. This mini roundabout, just look for the blockers. You can see people coming from the left and indicating right. Uh, coming to our road, we're just going to use them and go with it. Nice and busy as you would have it for your test. It's just a one blocker coming this way. So you're not going to go. It's going to wait for a little bit better occasion. Or someone, maybe they flash, maybe they want on oh, this day turning. 
as the two turning in. So I'm going out, taking the trailer over. You can look at that. There you go. And back, and we're just going through there. Leighton Bazaar Town Centre, I'm very often I'm saying to you, be very careful, not very careful, but scan the crossings and around the crossings. It's just, yeah, that's the main, main focus for you here, because people can just, these days, they're just going straight into it. To the crossing without looking so look and plan so your trailer is off the crossing before they come to the crossing the pedestrians okay so we're still following the town centre and the railway station, okay, which is straight on. We're not going left. So all right for Hawcliffe. We're just going straight. So we're gonna just stay in our lane on the approach. Just be careful on the train and scan the crossing, scan the crossing. Okay, scan the roundabout, scan the roundabout. Okay, one car in. Okay, the red car is waiting. And now here, this roundabout, just stay in your lane. Indicating left. And go to the left. So just remember, if you are staying in your lane and not splitting the lanes on the roundabout, then you have to stay in, your, in that lane around the roundabout, okay? So like, for example, here, if you was to split the lanes, and when you go in right, you have to do that, then you can use the whole roundabout. But if you decide to not split the lanes, like I'm doing now, so I'm leaving the right-hand lane open, then I will follow in my lane around the roundabout. You can see? So I left everything open for these people turning right. Very important that is. Okay, 20 mile per hour and normally when that speed is slower than 30 there's something else so you would see more paint on the road you would see speed bumps all sorts of things like that basically calming the traffic down not very often we see someone stopping before the crossing before they go, get across this gentleman did but you got to plan for the ones that basically don't give a monkey and they just jump into the crossing. So the, the ones on the phones, on the headphones and other stuff. Scanning these crossings and around the crossing. Just watch the speed bumps. Nice. Following this station, remember railway station, no signs yet for it. And again, it's going slowly. Another speed bump and another mini roundabout where you don't need to split the lanes. So just going straight because there's no sign saying otherwise for our direction. So we're just following the road ahead. And now I can see the sign for the railway station. So it's not left of the mini roundabout, but it's left at the junction over there. So this mini roundabout, we're just going straight, staying in our lane, which is right hand lane, just looking at the mini roundabout, okay? You're not turning towards us, so we're just going. And now, first thing, if you go too deep to the left, 
you are risking that you're gonna clip this curb. Station is to the left, so be careful and go here. Then you've got pedestrian crossing. This traffic lights, the red light is not for you. You haven't got solid line across the road, but the pedestrian crossing here, if there is anyone, you have to let them go. Okay? Just double checking here. And the first big obstacle on that test route is this park cars. So you flick your signal to the right, okay? And you wait for your turn. So right at the top over there, there is just enough space for us to go, but not when we're coming out of here. So over here, we need to wait. And then if the cars are very, very far, then we can start going. So you're doing sort of like this and staying close to the cars and look at that. They do have enough space to go. Yeah, there is enough space for these cars to go. Decided to stop, so that's fine. Just remember, if you go out to the right when going past these cars, cancel your signal after because there is a road on the right. Really narrow pavements here. So keep an eye on pedestrians. Yeah. Fun to you like that. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> I can assure you if someone driving the truck, they wouldn't go in that road when they see their entrance to it, but here we go, you're gonna be tested well here. So, practice, practice, practice. And again, cars parked on the left, so flick the signal to the right. When it's clear, we're gonna move. Make sure you don't stop anyone. Looks like it's clear. Still, oh no, there's someone coming, so you know. All right, they're flashing. So, they're flashing the lights, I'm going. Let's go. That is a perfect thing because then you can just go. about can't see any approach properly so slowing down a bit and then going remember even though no one is coming you have to have a look and expect unexpected so that someone can turn turn up over there so 80 miles per hour you can keep fed here. Smile for the camera. And another mini roundabout where you where we're gonna just go across straight through it. But don't go too fast. Okay, so now we're going to follow the signs for Milton Keynes. Forty mile per hour. I'm not going to really accelerate, just taking my foot off the gas, the gravity will do the work. Just keep an eye on speed, it's really quickly just building up. Milton Keynes turning right, third exit, as you can see. So, just approaching in the middle, no need to try to squeeze in your lane. Okay, this car went. We can just go. Okay, indicating left. 
living in a left hand line. Another roundabout coming, full, we're following still Milton Keynes, so we're just gonna see which way that is. Milton Keynes, first exit looks like just straight on. It's gonna slow down, quite wide lanes, no need to split. So that was that part by the station I just wanted to show you, which was very difficult. And in here, obviously, dual carriage rate, there isn't much happening, but you keep on checking your mirrors between 7 and 10 seconds and plan for anything that can occur in, in the front of the truck, in front of us. Oh, we've got the new one, 50 mile per hour speed limit because of, I think the, bar, the barrier is damaged there. So just, yeah. Make sure to, uh, that you slow down to 50 here if, you do, if you're going faster. And it can go quite relaxed here because not much happening so you're probably going to be chatting with your examiner which I wouldn't recommend because it's going to take attention from your test um, so just yeah just politely answer something but don't go into the conversation too much because then you might miss something our brain can take only as much as it can take at the time and this is new thing for you. You're not doing this automatically yet. You have to think about about everything that you do in a truck. So adding the conversation to it, you will take a lot of out of your brain, and you might miss something else. Milton Keynes, you can see we're coming to the roundabout in the distance and I can tell you now the Milton Keynes is going to be right. It's a fair exit. Okay, very often the cars are going from the left hand lane and turning right and trucks as well. You cannot do that. You have to turn from the right hand lane as there is no marking saying that the left hand lane east for the for the right turn. So when we come a little bit closer, so where the sign reduced speed now is, that's where we want to change the lane. So indicating now, checking the mirrors, going in the right hand lane, and we're gonna go third exit of the roundabout. So as I said, just be careful here on the left-hand lane because locals, they like to go from the left-hand lane right. So you're always checking the left uh, near side mirror anyway. But check even more on this one. So look at that. We've got two cars. So this white one, where is it going? Look at that. This is what I, I said. So now indicating left, do I see clear, clear lane? Then I go, okay? If there was someone there, because there might be, 
then you just live in the right hand lane and that's when you can live in the right hand lane all right all right all right so what you think this was the test route which is not very often used and actually forbidden to use by HGVs around Leighton Bazaar. Let me know if you'd like to see more things like that and I can assure you, I show you everything and expose this in my videos so you know how to pass it and you pass with ease. Please press like, subscribe and share. See you on the road, drive safe.